this disturbing story this morning. Sentencing proceedings for a couple accused of abusing their child will be heard in the High Court in Gauteng. The mother has been found guilty of failing to protect her children and participating in their assault. Her boyfriend was found guilty of killing their five-month-old daughter, raping and assaulting his 10-year-old stepdaughter and torturing his 12-year-old stepson. The state will try to convince the judge that they should be locked up for life. Our reporter Maseho Ratlacha following the story for us. Maseho, a very good morning to you. Well, as good as it can be having to listen to, to details like this. And uh, just a little bit around the story for us, uh, Maseho, in case most of us actually forgot the original court case as well. Just a bit of background uh, to this horror story. We have to call it that because that's exactly what it is. That's exactly what it is, Yuveka. I mean, as a parent, you're supposed to be protecting uh, your children, but in this case, that is not what happened. So for the bit, for the bit of background, Yuveka, um, the couple met in around 2017. Um, uh, as soon as um, they fell in love, they decided to move in together. The woman had uh, two children already, uh, um, a 12-year-old son and a 10-year-old daughter. Um, the man then started, and we know now that um, you know, he's been convicted of these crimes, so he started to rape the 10-year-old uh, child, uh, beat her up, assault her. The 12-year-old boy who has learning disabilities was tortured. Um, he would be uh, uh, locked up in a room for... Uh, endless days. Uh, he told the court when he testified that sometimes he actually wasn't even allowed to eat some of the food in the house because they belonged to this man. What we know is that um, this man and this woman met at, at the gym. Uh, she was a client and the man was an employee at, at a gym in Kempton Park. But what happened then was that they had their own child. Um, but when that little girl turned five months old, on the 7th of February in 2018, she was admitted to a um, local hospital in Kempton Park uh, with very serious injuries, Yuveka. This is a five-month-old little girl. And three days later, on the 10th of uh, February, she succumbed to those injuries. Basically, what the court found was that they beat up a five-month-old child and shook her to her death, basically taking the child and literally shaking her. Um, and she was admitted to hospital. Three days later, she passed away. And what's funny, Yuveka, is that um, so these two are currently out on bail uh, because the murder charge came after the case had already started, um, and their bail just kept being extended. So they are out. Um, and they were still together mm. and actually they've even given birth to another child uh, very recently but all their children both uh, the 10 year old well who is now um, 11 and the brother who is now 13 are living with uh, the woman's mother and uh, this little child has been put into the system. The new baby has been put into the system to be given to foster parents. So this basically is a very traumatizing case, um, especially for those children. Uh, they testified, for instance, Yuveka, and I cannot imagine what those children were going through, having to testify against their own mother and uh, their stepfather. Absolutely unbelievable, Masejo, what you've been describing. And, you know, the scary thing is that these are probably not the only children who've been through this and and. and as we speak, some, some child somewhere is going through this. One has to imagine that it, it wouldn't be very difficult for, for, for the, the, the strongest, most harshest sentence to be imposed on these two, that there shouldn't be much argument uh, against having that done to them. Well, Yuveka, that's the scary part. When you look at uh, a lot of the cases that we've covered recently as journalists, um, and actually years ago even, there was even that case that we used to refer to as the Springs Monster. Uh, and that was also the ca a case of uh, a father and his wife who locked up their children. There was also rape involved there. There was also that other case that happened uh, in the High Court in Pretoria. We cannot name the children. As you know, Yuveka, um, that court case uh, in the Constitution court judgment uh, in December saying that we can no longer name children even if they've died um, uh, who have been victims of horrendous mm. crimes but I'm sure you know which case I'm talking about yes. that child she was also uh, just brutally murdered uh, by uh, her parents um, and so this is not the first case so what we're expecting today is that the state would um, you know uh, argue uh, in court it's called aggravation of sentence so before a sentence takes place before we find out um, how many
many years a convicted person can, will spend time in jail. Uh, both the state and the defense argue on, uh, on behalf or against that person about how many years they think they should spend in jail. So uh, first up is the state today, and Advocate Miller will be arguing that they need to spend the rest of their lives in jail, Yuveka, mm. uh, because of the fact that they've put so many children in danger. There's also just that uh, question about which other children this man uh, possibly uh, abused before he met yeah. this woman in 2017 yeah. uh, and met her with her two young children and started abusing her children. There's also, Yuveka, that question that has always been asked in many court cases about women who feel as though they need to stay with abusive men because of, uh, you know, not having uh, that financial mm. muscle to be able to take care of the children themselves. Uh, and that's why she was then charged with just, um, you know, watching on as her children were so horrifically abused. Uh, and she obviously has argued in court that she had no power. She didn't know what to do. The man would abuse her as well. But she, of course, has also been found guilty because mm. out of bail they stayed together and she actually was impregnated with his second child. Unbelievable again, Masek. And, and that explanation uh, for, for me doesn't make sense because if you want to do this for the safety and the well-being of your children, you stay with somebody who might be abusing you. That, that's the explanation many people, many women give. But surely this was not in the best interest of your children. And uh, how, how could you watch this and think that it was okay to stay with someone like this? I'm very curious throughout this court case, just what they've seemed like. Uh, if you're able to tell us just this couple and even was there any support for either of them uh, in court because I mean I I certainly wouldn't want to be associated with anyone uh, who has who has done who, or, or caused such harm to anyone well, unfortunately, Yuveka, we were not privy to covering the actual court case because of those levels that we were under of the lockdown. So a lot of the cases, as you know, Yuveka, prior to uh, level two and level one were actually virtual and it would only basically be the judge, uh, the defense, as well as um, the, 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 def the, the, the state uh, that would be invited to uh, those kind of court proceedings. Um, there's also, uh, you know, the fact that we know that when they were still appearing in a magistrate's court, that they uh, sort of supported each other. I mean, you can imagine staying together even after, uh, you know, this whole ordeal. Um, I'm not sure whether uh, the woman's uh, family still supports her, but I do know that uh, the two children that this man found her with are with her mother. Mm -hmm. uh, so they are with their maternal grandmother and I think as a maternal grandmother I can only assume that for her uh, at this point all she cares about is her uh, two little grandchildren and especially when you look at the fact that the boy is uh, basically uh, uh, you know in, uh, mentally uh, uh, um, ill uh, to some extent in terms of uh, his learning disability mm. and things like that. So he grows a bit slower uh, than other people and that is uh, for, of course uh, mentally. So um, you know that grandmother obviously trying to protect her children. Uh, I'm not sure if the family was aware that this is what the children was, were going through in the two years before these two were arrested and charged with these uh, crimes but we'll be uh, taking a look especially today uh, um, and uh, for the rest of the sentencing proceedings if we'll spot any family members from either sides um, of the two uh, people who've been convicted. Just very quickly, Maseko, before I re uh, let you go, you spoke about that there was a question of, uh, you know, how many others, if there were other children that this man uh, had abused uh, or hurt before he met this woman. Is there an investigation, to your knowledge, is there an, uh, an investigation being conducted uh, into that at the moment, which might affect, uh, I, I would imagine, the sentence uh, as well? Well, when I spoke to the investigating officer, Yuveka, he said there was such an investigation. Uh, it has since been closed, sort of, because uh, they couldn't find any other evidence of him abusing other children. Um, and there was no evidence, uh, for instance, to try and speak to his previous lovers, for instance, uh, other girlfriends or uh, other little girls that he's been around, whether it's um, uh, friends or family uh, members' children. So um, that part of the case has been closed for now. Um, and what they're concentrating on now is what they have found him guilty on and that I think I think the state and the investigating officer will take that especially you because these two were first arrested for uh, only the, the the sexual assault of the 10 year old girl um, they were only arrested for the torture of the then 12 year old boy um, as well as the beating up of those two and then later on when it was discovered that actually that five-month-old baby who passed away in hospital had not passed away from 
um, uh, uh, you know, uh, natural causes as the hospital had initially thought. That's when they mm -hmm. then charged them with the murder of their five-month-old little girl. Um, so for now, uh, it's only these three cases or these three children that mm -hmm. uh, they're being looked at. And of course, like I said earlier, this little child that uh, they've just given birth to has been taken away from them. Mr. Thurtaka, thanks so much. We'll continue to keep an eye on the story. Deeply upsetting indeed.